tell them run it off. I'm bringing one of my colleagues with me, uh, Nick here. Um, he's gonna be representing us too as well. Uh, we're gonna be, I wanna say this, we're gonna be like the Miami chapter of, uh, of the uh, anabolic outlaws and stuff like that. So you're gonna see a lot of content on my page um, representing their brand too as well. As far as Nick is gonna do it too. Um, yeah. We ready. We ready. Get it in. But yeah, we're gonna just do names. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. 15%. 15% off. You feel me? But yeah, anabolic outlaws, man. Go look online. I'm gonna have it over there in my bio. Everything that you see that I take, and that anything also that you see that I'm wearing, it's affiliated with them. You can go on my bio, and you can link to the website. To go on that, uh, to go on that website. All right. I mean, y'all take care. This is this is this is crazy where I'm at right now. Uh, you know, currently a bodyguard. Me and Kevin. You know, we got our clients all over the place running around. But my whole thing started from tragedy you know I lost two brothers to gang violence you know I mean my, my my son's mom also passed away so my only outlet was to work out I found a gym man and you know all my pain everything I had anger everything instead of me going doing some dumb stuff I just focus I just locked in on on the gym on working out you know I mean making myself better and taking care of my son so that's been my motivation from from then till now um, while working out, it's craziest things. People saw me in the gym working out and offered me a job as a bodyguard. I started bodyguarding. You know, we've been getting a, a lot of opportunities yeah. from just working out. You know, you yeah. would not believe just from pushing some weights and you know, I mean, diet and exercise what what that can do for you. So um, we've met a lot of people along the way. Got a lot of sponsors. Worked with a lot of clients, celebrities, and. And um, all of this is, is out of tragedy, tragedy. so um, I'm just saying that people just, you know, never give up. You know, just stay strong, keep it focused, and just um, keep on working on whatever. Whatever your craft is, find something, find an outlet. Something that you could you could be great at, you know? Something that's that's non-stressful. Just, just do it. That's all I'm saying. Just get it done. Motivation and inspiring people, man. That's one thing I think that uh, fitness is really all about, is uh, inspiring others, and pushing each other to reach uh, certain limits. Um, that's one thing that I had when I when I first started looking, uh, doing uh, working out and doing fitness and stuff like that. I started when I was 14 years old when my father put a weight set in my in my garage, and I just started on my own from there. Um, all the way goes down to when I started playing ball, when we were all a team and we would all push each other to push that last rep. Um, so like I said, you know, at the end of the day, with the, when, I, when I sit there and I post content and stuff like that, it's nothing about showing off this, showing off that. It's about uh, 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 motivating someone else to push themselves even further because honestly, that's how I did it when I first was going scrolling through people's fitness pages and I was like, damn, this dude did, oh shit, he did four or five, six, seven times. Okay, okay, I'm gonna push it harder. I'm gonna try to do it eight to 10 times. And, uh, and you just go from there. Same thing as far as that, that, that backflip situation. I saw that one guy do it at 240 pounds. I'm 270 pounds, and I'm gonna do the backflip at 270 pounds. So stay tuned to that. Stay tuned to that.